Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, so uh, previously, um, I had uh, multiple videos talking about how to install the uh, TP-Link smart switch. Um, I actually did a project about two years ago, replace all the switches in my house. Uh, I had single pole, uh, like uh, three-way switches and dimmer switches. I did a, uh, I think previous I had a video talking about all of them. Uh, I don't think I did one for the dimmer switch, and. Um, as you can see here, I have a TP-Link uh, single pole switch in, in here, and uh, uh, I recently want to add a dimmer in there, and make it into dimmer switch because uh, I want some dimming function. So I bought this uh, TP-Link uh, dimmer switch in there, and I will show you how to get it connected. Um, so this is a new box, so I'm just going to open the box, and I can even show you... Uh, what's uh, inside a new box in there uh, as an open box uh, video? So, here's uh, the box. There's a very simple instruction. Basically, they tell you follow everything on the app, and then they give you some stickers for convenient. And um, there's some wire knot and screws, and uh, this is the switch itself. Um, so uh, one thing I want to mention is that uh, all the TP-Link smart switch they're gonna require neutral wire. Uh, so uh, if you your house do not have a neutral wire, you need to look for some other solutions. I think uh, currently G switch have an option in there, and um, I think there's uh, another um, brand, uh, Lutra, I think uh, they don't need a, a, a neutral wire. But yeah, if you have a neutral wire, that's like the most convenient way to do this. So uh, there is a neutral as a white, there is a green as a ground in there. And then the difference between a single pole and the dimmer switch is, um, I think for the single pole, uh, they just have two black cables in there. Uh, you put one in line, another in low, doesn't matter which and which. But then for dimmer switch, it actually matters. So uh, once you open it up um, in your box, certainly you need to find the ground cable, which is usually a, a copper colored uh, uh, cable with no insulation. And you're going to find a bundle of white cable, which are like a bundle of white cable just connected to itself, not to the switch. Uh, that's your neutral. And then for the two black cables on the switch, you need to find out uh, which one is a line, which one is a load, and connect to the right place in there. Uh, another thing I want to mention is, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger than a regular simple switch in there. So you're going to have to use some brute force to kind of manage the cable in there to put it in. So one thing I did in a lot of, um, uh, especially when you have uh, multiple switches, like a three gang, even four gangs. Um, so that means you're going to have a lot of cable to manage in one small box behind it. One thing I did a lot in our house is... Um, you know, usually in the switch, you have one for fan, another for the light. And then in the middle, they usually have uh, like a, a, a switch for an outlet. I personally is not a big fan for the kind of, that kind of switch because that confused me all the time. So I just decided to just connect all the outlet switch and get rid of the middle outlet switch. Uh, which actually saved me a lot of space because I'm literally putting two switches in a three gang box in there. Uh, all right, so uh, enough of talk. So next thing I'm going to do some wiring. But then before we start everything, so uh, the f most important thing here is uh, if you're going to do any of this kind of work, you need to make sure you find your breaker box. You need to make sure you turn off the power before you even open up um, just make sure everyone is safe and then if you're not sure about this then it might be better to find an electrician to help you with that all right so uh the the light is out uh the, we turn off from a, a breaker box and we actually open the switch cover <laughs> And uh, as you can see, this is the other single pole. I'm not planning to do anything. This is actually controlling the fan. And then this is the one I'm planning to replace with a dimmer switch. And uh, 
As I mentioned before, dimmer uh, a regular single in single poles are like relatively simple. Uh, like there are two black cables, uh, one for load, one for line. Doesn't matter which one you connect to. But then for dimmer, you actually need to find out which one has a power. <clears throat> so uh, the way to do that um, is actually um, uh, pretty straightforward. And actually, I can take take a guess in here. Um, because you see one cable going through this bundle and then this bundle actually has a, a bunch of cable connected including my other single pole switch <clears throat> in here if you can see here and then that most likely this bundle has power and uh, most likely I think this red cable provide power to this bundle which provide <clears throat> power to both this one and then this one and then I believe then the other one is um, the one that uh, goes to the uh, light and without any power. So this is my guess, but then uh, uh, how do I prove it? And how do you, in your house situation, how do you figure it out? So uh, the way to figure it out is um, we can actually disconnect it from here and put a wire knot here just for protection purpose. And uh, I'm actually going to put another wire knot here for protection purpose as well. All right. Um, and then what I'm going to do is um, I, I will try to pull these two wire knot apart from each other. And then uh, I will go to my burger box to turn on the power. And then I, will, I can use my... Um, Voltage tester to test this one and this one to see which one has a power. Because I got things disconnected from the switch. And then this one, if it's going to the light, it should not have any power. And if, if this one is the one that has power, it should have power. Um, even if I cut off the switch in here. So, alright, I'm going to turn on the power now. All right, now the power is on, so just be very careful and don't touch anything. And then that's why I put a wire knot on everything. So let's first see this bundle. And uh, as I mentioned before, I think this one has a power. And then that's correct. So this one has power and then the other one does not have a power. So that means uh, this one, uh, this cable, this one is from the power. And then this one goes to light. And so that we know which one to connect to the switch. And then this is uh, the one that was originally connected to here and uh, to the switch. And actually this one, yeah, if this one has a, has a power because inside the switch they are actually connected. So, uh, all right. So now I know which line is which. I'm going to um, turn off the power again from breaker box so that I can do some uh, wiring here. All right, now, since we know which is which, let's look at this switch. So this switch, uh, this red, it says uh, load, and then black, it says line. So line means um, that's the power coming from your your, your power source, your, your breaker box. And then load means that's your light bulb, that's light, light fixture, that's a load in there. So. Since we know that this one actually have a power, that means uh, um, we need a cable um, to connect this to this. And then we need to connect this cable, which goes a light fixture to here. And then certainly um, green is the ground and uh, there's a bundle of uh, a red, a white cable you see in there. That's my neutral, I'll go this way. All right. Now I have some uh, wiring to do. All right, so the wiring is uh, done. As I mentioned before, uh, this code to, to the line. Um, this is the one with the power. <clears throat> and then this is the one to the light fixture. And also um, the neutral wire goes to neutral bundle and uh, the ground uh, wire goes ground bundle. So uh, everything should be finished. So uh, then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'll just try to kind of um, arrange these cables and try to put these uh, both of them in there. And then I will turn on the power to get them connected to the app. 
All right, so the power is uh, I I finish finally finish all the like cabling. I use some brute force, try to put everything in there, and then the power is on. Uh, and it, as you can see that um, this uh, switch is flashing orange and yellow, which actually means the switch is not connected to anything. So to connect it to the app, you gotta click the plus sign. You say I'm gonna connect the device, and then this device is a smart switches. And which one are you talking about? Um, uh, we are actually doing smart dimmer. And actually, there's something I want to talk about. Looks like um, they have some new product that was not available before. For example, they have this smart three-way dimmer switch now, which was not available. They have those motion activity with sensors, probably, is even with dimmer. And then this one is motion activity without dimmer. Mm, these are some new product that did not exist before. But anyway, uh, let's just start doing this. Smart dimmer... Have you already wired up? Yes. Um, yes. And then it's searching. Connect. Now, this is a tricky thing. At this, moment, at this moment, my phone is connected to the switch inside of my Wi-Fi. So what it asks you to do is um, go to your Wi-Fi setting and then make sure you're on your Wi-Fi, which I am. And then I'm going to call it... Uh, Made some spelling error, but anyway, um, which icon am I gonna use? I think I'll just use this one and then save. All right, so there is some calibration process you have to do um, for 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 dimmer switch. What they will ask you to do is. Um, slowly dim it down to the point that it's like lowest uh, brightness so i'm going to keep dimming you gotta watch your led light at this point it's completely dark and then this is the lowest light light i can still see it's on so and then i'm gonna do test It's all good. All right, everything is finished. All right, thank you for watching my video. Um, and actually, there's a firmware update, which are probably going to take a while, but then um, you're going to have to, to do this uh, anyway. So, uh, all right. Uh, so thank you for watching my video. Uh, hopefully, you find my video helpful on installing the dimmer switch. Uh, if you want to know more about the other kind of switch from TP-Link, I have other videos about the single pole, three-way switch, uh, and also their smart plugs. So, and also there's another video I actually use a three-way switch on uh, four-way wearing situation. All right, thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you find my video helpful, please subscribe to my channel.